going on, everybody? It's your boy James Anthony here, alongside my tag team partner, Mr. Everton, Mr. Andrew. We are first generation, and we are on the road to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, heading to Final Battle 2015 for Ring of Honor Wrestling. And I figured, you know, since we got a long highway ahead of us for the next couple hours, I figured, what better way than to recap our 2015 victory? Because let's be honest, we accomplished a lot this year. I mean, think about it, three times. PWF Tag Team Champion. He became the longest reigning NFW social media champion. I captured three single championships of my own. We're doing big things at Ring of Honor, man. And I swear, bro, I mean, 2015 was a great year for us, man. I mean, like, what really stands out the most to you from this year? Bro, I say uh, everything we've done with Ring of Honor so far, you know, we've done some great tools. The last time we went to Philly, we chanted New Day. Remember that? For us. Wow. Just because we was like, Get the stream off the lights and stuff. You know, that's something big. You know, that's 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 so that we had stage presence. You know, we wasn't even doing nothing and they was cheering for us. Um, and hopefully that happened again tonight. But how I mean the whole twenty fifteen was good. It was and hey, everything we did at PWF, thanks to the Extreme Horseman, Jody Bulldog, Jimmy Cicero, um I mean, what what stands up for you? Uh, to me, bro, I would say like uh, our match with the Extreme Horseman was a really uh, great push for us. Um, our feud with the Jordan Bulldogs that we had at PWF. Um, I had some great singles matches this year, man. I mean, I wrestled Tolkien Farley. Uh, I wrestled up in Puerto Rico, man. Uh, I really, I mean, you know, I, I did everything that I wanted to accomplish just this year alone, man. And, you know, I, I just can't wait to see what the future holds for us up in uh, 2016. But what really stand out the most for you when it comes to your singles match this year? Like, what stand out the most, man? What can you say, like, what was that one singles match that pushed you to that next level this year? And I kind of know what match you're going to say, but I'd rather let you go ahead. All right, okay, let's, let's say it one at the same time. Ready? One, one two, two, three. Jimmy Cicero. Ah, I told you, man. I told you, man. But so why does that match stand out the most for you, man? What was, I mean, what was different about it from every other match you've had? Man, Cicero is one spectacular competitor. I mean, this man has done everything in his name under the sun. 25 years under his belt. Um, very professional. He gets in there, he gets busy. I mean, his age ain't nothing but a number. And he showed that. You know, even even weight, height, size, nothing but a number. He showed that. This man got great athleticism. He can go. Um, and we got in there, we got busy. I got, I got a win over him. Um, and I had some great feedback from the match. And I got I had a chance to show that I can get busy in 2015. I plan on doing it again. I'm sure that's what I can do. I got a lot hidden in this body of mine. I got a lot hidden in my mind. And I'm just going to unleash it. Well, I know for me, bro, in 2016, I want to just pick up where 2015 is now, man. You know, I want to accomplish a lot more. You know, uh, I feel like we've come a long way over the past three years, bro. I feel like we're finally on the right road to where we want to be. And um, to be honest, bro, I don't really see nothing stopping us uh, going into uh, 2016 this year, man. You know what we said when we first started traveling together? The worst thing they did was let us become friends. Because we have been on a path, we've been on a walk path ever since we got together. Three years. Three years and running, bro. Like, we, we, we're friends. We, we, Became family like the first two road trips. Yeah, it didn't take long. It was like we already, it was like a, a reconnection of all the brothers. But we stuff. knew, we knew when we got together that we were going to be trouble. That we told everybody that, and everybody is really starting to see that. But um, I can tell you right now, bro, up in 2016, um, there's going to be a lot of things going on. Come on, guys. Jonesy, what the fuck? Hey, how did you get in the back of the Did you know he was in the back of the car? I didn't know. What are you doing in the car? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I don't know how you got in the back of the car with us, I guess you have to go to Philly with us, no, 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 you're not going to Philly with us, no, you're not, the next exit, you're getting out, uh, call Emmanuel, uh, tell him to uh, pay for the jet, and tell him to come pick, you. no, 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 give me this, Put the pay phone, don't make me walk, just lay back, lay down, lay down, lay down, he'll be alright, anyways, but um, 2016, Big things are going to be happening for First Generation. If you want to keep up with us, go to Facebook, like our First Generation fan page. If you want to keep up with 
Stick to Andrews on Facebook. Like him on his Stick to Andrews fan page. You can hit me up on Facebook at James Anthony as well. You can find me on Twitter at 87 James Anthony. You can find Mr. Andrews. And I'm underscore Mr. Everything. I'm underscore Mr. Everything. And ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas. Have a happy new year. And we'll see you all in 2016. Thank you all for your support. We will let you down.